today's video, I'm going to show you how to use your Cricut to create a freezer paper stencil. We are going to use that stencil to customize a doormat for your front porch. If that's something you want to see, stick around. I've got the full tutorial coming right up. Sarah and you are watching Creative Ramblings, where I share simple, inspiring projects. Today's video is sponsored by Cricut, and I'm going to use my machine to cut a stencil from freezer paper and create a custom doormat. So let's jump right in, and I'm going to show you the supplies that you need for this project. So we want to start with freezer paper. Freezer paper comes in a big roll. You can get it at your grocery store, and it's usually used to wrap meat, but it has some adhesive properties to it when you heat it up with an iron. So grab an iron and some freezer paper, then you're gonna need your Cricut machine. Today I'm using the Cricut Explore Air 2. You're also going to need some craft paint and a stencil brush. So the first thing we wanna do is head over to Cricut Design Space and create our design. In Design Space on a blank canvas, create a rectangle the size of the mat. Mine is 30 by 18 inches. Then you're gonna go in and pull up your stencils. I found a leaf I like and the word hello to go on the mat. I'm gonna lay this all out in the canvas in the correct colors so I can really visualize what it's gonna look like, moving everything around and sizing it appropriately. Once everything is in place, I am going to separate the pieces and delete that rectangle because I'm not going to cut that. Then I'm going to click make it. I am using the extra long mat from Cricut here and I am going to center my pieces on the mats that I'm using so that I have a nice border around them when, when I cut. Then I'm going to select parchment paper for my material and click continue. On my mat I'm going to lay the freezer paper shiny side down. The dull side will be facing up. I'm going to turn my dial to custom and I'm going to go ahead and load it in and start to cut. When this is done cutting, I'm going to flip my mat upside down and slowly peel the freezer paper off. Now I want to save the middles of these letters. We are going to use these, so set those aside. Now here I have a core mat. I picked this up at Target. You can get them just about anywhere. They're really durable. I'm going to lay my stencil out, make sure it's centered exactly where I want it, and then use a hot iron, which is going to adhere this freezer paper to the doormat, making a great stencil. I'm going to add all those letter middles back in and then it's time to paint. I'm using just black craft paint and a stiff stencil brush. Getting a little bit of paint on the brush, I'm going to use a pretty firm up and down motion all over the stencil until it's filled in. Start off with a small amount of paint and then go back in a second, add a second coat if you want it darker. Now, while the paint's still wet, I'm going to peel off the stencil, leaving these beautiful crisp lines on my doormat. I'm gonna repeat the process with those leaves using a couple different shades of green all over the mat. Once everything's done, let this dry and you are ready to use. Just a few tips, uh, this is not completely waterproof, so if you can have it in a little bit of a sheltered area, that's great. Mine sits on my front porch with a little bit of an overhang. So using that simple technique, I created a custom doormat that I couldn't find in the store. This is a great technique to add uh, some pieces to your doormat, maybe your last name, your address, or a message that works for your family and your home. So I hope you are inspired to try this technique. If you wanna pick up any of the supplies I mentioned, head down into the description. You can see all the different supplies that I used. If you like videos like this and you wanna see more, consider subscribing. I'm here every week with a new, simple, inspiring project. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.